you know speaking of bunny rabbits do I look a little bit like one I think maybe this is too red on my eyes and it kind of makes them look like I'm looking even more tired than usual I'm not sure about this look and my lipstick is now running out Ugh. I'm like the joker that's not good that is not good so before the summer passes us by in blighty i wanted to uh and by the way i'm filming this towards the end of july um so and we're in a bit of a heat wave it could very well be over in the next day or so i think actually heavy rains are forecast but anyway i wanted to get on and do this video i've been meaning to do this video for ages to talk to you about uh summer skin and specifically SPF and SPF boosters. Um, I think these are relatively new products and um, at least um, I've not been aware of them before. Um, and I just wanna share some of the ones that I've been trying with you and um, yeah, and just give you my, my thoughts and impressions. So if you're new here, bienvenido or bienvenida depending um and if you've come back for more thank you so much i really appreciate it spf sun protection factor. and there are different types of spf um and the different levels of spf and ones that protect against uh uva and uvb light so yeah um i'm not an expert so i'm not gonna deep dive into that but i just think what i think about with all these like nuances now with with spf is that when i was little um i think the highest factor you could get was like 15 and um and actually recall the you know being on the beach in spain and applying ambre solaire oil and you know i'm quite fair i've got dark hair but i'm actually quite fair yeah I, I don't know I don't know what I was thinking I think I even applied baby oil once which is just insane insane but since um probably the beginning of my 20s um which was a bit of a time ago um I have been very conscious about protecting my skin and using SPF that said for some reason I always burn. I always burn somewhere on my back where I can't reach um, and I even have, or I think I chucked it now, but I had like a cream applica, a, a, applicator uh, on a stick thing but I was always too embarrassed to actually get it out on the beach. Um, anyway, which is ridiculous. Um, and I also often burn here or I get very red uh, around my chest area I guess because it's sticking out a bit and so it's kind of more accessible <laughs> to the sun rays but I always apply I'd now take my day cream with SPF down onto here always um, I really really don't want to be having wrinkle chest and I probably will have because of you know past behavior but I'm trying my best to kind of slow that down as much as possible so in a, some of my videos before I have mentioned this product by the body shop um, which is called Skin Defense Multi Protection Lotion, um, which is SPF 50. Um, and this is actually a holy grail product for me. So I hope you can see a bit better there. Um, I really like this. This is actually still almost full, but I've had it for well over the 12 months that you're supposed to have it open for. Um, so I put it to one side actually quite a while ago um, because I wanted to talk to keep it and talk about it on this video but after this I will be throwing this away because particularly with SPF you have to be careful it does go off um, and this I tried it a couple of times at the beginning of the season if you like and it just didn't feel right so this is this is being chucked I've definitely had it for more than one summer this might even be summer three, so yeah, not good. But I like this product because it's very lightweight. It doesn't leave a light cast. It goes well over moisturizers, so like a day cream. And also, if you want to reapply during the day, just to boost your SPF, um, then this, this works really, really well. In fact, I remember using this almost like a sun cream on my son, who's got, he's very, very fair, he's very blonde. Um, and yeah, and, and this works really well because it's so lightweight. Um, yeah, but it's not a sun cream, so I wouldn't be using this on the beach, but 
for a day out and about in the town um this is great because especially as it's a uh, factor 50. now um i i do use an spf Sunshine. in the winter but Rainy i'm probably day. um a lower one i'm not so concerned about having the higher protection but you know what i probably i should be but also i live in the uk and um I don't know wrongly or rightly I believe that it's not the sun is not as strong here as it might be nearer the equator so um maybe that's completely false thinking but I am very strong on the SPF in in the summer spring summer less so in the autumn winter particularly if like you, it's dark <laughs> when you go outside so um yeah but you know I don't want you to get the impression that I'm not saying that SPF isn't Sunshine, important. It is really important. Day, day. And also, I'm not a follower of what Gwyneth Paltrow, the nonsense that she came out with, that she only puts it on the bits that the sun, I don't know, hits. The sun hits everywhere if you are in the sun. And actually, even indoors, you can get you can get it, right? So uh, just just so you know, I'm, I am a big fan of SPF, but... Sunshine. I also want products that are going to work for me and often I find that um, you know SPF laden products leave a white cast um, that or they're really gunky they don't sink in watch my um, video on on day creams all of them have got SPFs in them Sunshine, and you'll see what I mean about they're not day. sinking in uh, and I'll link that video somewhere up up here at the top here Anyway, this is Holy Grail, but I'm not going to be replacing it right now because you'll see that I've got some others on the go um, that I am um, going to talk to you about in a second. So the next product that I wanted to talk to you about is one that I only broke out a couple of days ago from The Inky List. And I've actually done a whole video on this brand, The Inky List. So if you're interested in finding out more about the brand, then link to the video it will be somewhere up here. Um, but this is the Inky List SPF 30 sunscreen, 100% um, mineral UV filters, broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen. And it's got 22% zinc oxide, which I think will mean that it won't, um, you know, exacerbate any oiliness. In fact, it will keep it in check. Um, it says on here that it's a 100% mineral UV filter sunscreen that is reef safe. That's really great non-toxic to marine life in brackets zinc oxide forms a physical barrier on the skin which helps protect the skin from uva and uvb B damage so what i said about zinc oxide scratch that that was not right it's about the uva and uvb protection um it comes in a box okay and um you know the inky list is you know i like this brand it's got it's very kind of straightforward it explains how to use products really well i think or the products in their range and it says you know it tells you which step this is so this is designed to go after your moisturizer okay so in fact that is exactly how i used it today so i had my shower i um put my eye cream i put on a uh, sorry i cleansed my face in the shower i put on um, my eye cream i put on a serum I put on my day cream which does have SPF and then I put this on top. Now this is interesting because it is um, tinted. Let me just show you, hopefully you can see this. So it's got a slight tinge to it. It doesn't come out white which is what the Body Shop one does. Um, and you rub it in, it doesn't really, it's not leaving a tint on the skin but again it's there is no, oh, just rub in a bit better, there is no white cast. Uh, on me I don't know how this would work on deeper skin tones but um, but yeah it sinks in really nicely I hope you saw that it's very lightweight um, and what I did today and that's probably why I'm looking a bit pale which is a bit of a shame because you know this video is about summer skin <laughs> um, and it would be nice to have a bit more of a tan and I do have a bit more of a tan but I wanted to see what it was like on top of moisturizer and underneath foundation um, so I have applied foundation and my foundation is probably too pale for, for right now. I did go in with some bronzer, but yeah, it's still looking really pale. And oh, and then I put powder on because I was, uh, I get so sweaty. Yeah, so, but I, I really like this. So early days, can't really give you, uh, you know, a, 
a holy grail on it yet but um i'm i'm liking this product and you know what's great about this it's really inexpensive the inky list um a, a nice um kind of budget range that is available in boots as well as uh cult beauty and, and other places so whoa <laughs> So the next item that I wanted to speak to you about is kind of what triggered this whole video um, and it is from Superdrug, it's from the Me Plus range, uh, let me just bring it a little bit closer. This is called SPF 30 Plus Booster with Antioxidants and it's like a serum, it comes with a pipette, okay. And I, I saw this and I thought, wow, I don't think I've ever seen an SPF booster before and it looks like an oil, how bizarre, you know, how is an oil going to protect from the sun? Anyway, I bought it and I bought um, another product, which I'll mention in a moment, because I thought, oh, right, so this is obviously a thing now. Uh, let's do a video on it, you know, go, go in a bit deeper. Um, anyway, let me talk to you a bit about the Superdrug Me Plus range. It's really inexpensive, obviously only available in Superdrug. So I'm not sure if you're outside of the UK, whether or not this um, you can find this or, uh, or not. But it's a budget range. It's kind of mimicking uh, the Inky List. I think uh, maybe in, it's kind of inky list uh, CeraVe, CeraVe kind of um, duplica duplication. They've got lots of similar products. Um, and um, yeah, so inexpensive. This is, as I said, it's like a pipette. It, it, I don't know if it had, oh yeah, it might be under here. I've just been applying this. I've probably been doing it wrong now that I, I look at this. Uh, no, it doesn't actually say how to apply it. Um, but I've been applying this not because it's it is oily I'm not like at the beginning of the day I've been doing it as a booster just like it kind of says on the tin so just before going to pick my son up from nursery and I feel like my my day cream's gone um, I just put a few drops on my hand and then put it on my face and on the top of my neck uh, my chest area like I said and feel like I've actually boosted my SPF and uh, let me just see if I can show you. I'm going to put a drop here. So it's lightweight and it is it is an oil, but it's not like a slick oil. And it does sink in. Obviously, if you've got a sweaty Betty situation on your hands, which is what I often have, I, um, yeah, I don't think it, it, it like it leaves a residue, uh, which actually makes me feel like it's doing work. Um, but yeah, I think this is an, a really interesting product. So I, I've told you how I would use it. I'm not sure that I would carry this around with me because of the um, pipette situation and it's oily. I would be frightened it might leak, but I suppose I could put it in a bag and in a plastic bag and then put it in my handbag because it is quite small. So that's handy. Just if I was out and about and I wanted to kind of um, boost my SPF, I wouldn't be using this as a suntan lotion. This is not, I don't think what it's uh, designed for. But yeah, I, I like this product um is it holy grail not, uh, not i'm not yet I, I i haven't used it enough although you know i'm sort of like a third of the way through um but yeah i can't i can't give it holy grail status but more so because i i i you know because of the the residue uh situation i, I want something a bit more matte i think which is ironic leading on to the next product which is from simple which is the simple radiance booster SPF 30 so this is kind of like I would say that you know they're matching I wouldn't you know duplicates if you like this says it is for UVA B and UVA A light um sorry UVA and UVB and blue light and pollution protection so blue light I guess means off your phone and your iPad and what have you in your computer it's from their Protect and Glow range and it's antioxidant vitamin E and algae oil. It says it's invisible and lightweight. It's uh, triple protection and it's an antioxidant and boost for radiant skin. It's a naturally preservative free, no greasy or sticky feel, no unpleasant sunscreen smell. But again, and it says apply three drops on the palm of your hand and gently press into your face. Okay, so this is this is cruelty free with a, a PETA sign on it, which is great. This one from um, Superdrug has got the cruelty free um, international bunny rabbit thing on it, and also it's got their vegan sign on it. 
I think they're actually all vegan now that I think. Oh, the body shop one I can't tell you because they they don't actually put the thing on the on the packaging. Um, I, body shop need to sort that out because it's really difficult to know what is and what isn't. You have to go on their website for a lot of it. Uh, the inky list. I thought the inky list was um, was v no fragrance, no cruelty. Okay, but they don't have any of the logos so i don't know if that's because they don't pay the subscription or you know because these things you normally you have to sort of pay to be a part of it you know speaking of bunny rabbits do i look a little bit like one i think maybe this is too red on my eyes and it kind of makes them look like i'm looking even more tired than usual i'm not sure about this look and my lipstick is now running out Ugh. I'm um, like the Joker. That's not good. That is not good. What happened was I was trying a new lipstick and I didn't like the colour. So I tried to blot it off and I put another one on top. But I've got a bit of a hot mess going on. My apologies for that. So, so sorry. So actually, let's talk about the simple one. Um, the simple one is comes in this little bottle. It's, uh, as I said, it's SPF 30. It's very similar to the Superdrug one. I'll just show you by applying some drops here. It's very lightweight. It sinks in really quickly. They're very similar, I would say. It leaves, you know, a sort of shiny oil thing, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't feel unpleasant. I think if I was very sweaty though, I wouldn't, I wouldn't appreciate that feel. I mean, I am very sweaty, but not, not right at this moment. Yeah, no, no heavy fragrance. And yeah, and I would say they're very similar. So I would say the, the simple one is very similar to the Superdrug Me Plus one. Simple one is probably available in more places because um, yeah, the Me Plus one is just in, the Superdrug one is just available in Superdrug. So I'm gonna be, you know, watching this kind of product development with interest to see if more brands bring out these SPF boosters. Um, I think it's a really interesting concept. And um, and obviously I think it's really important that more and more people are aware of, of the importance of using SPF. Um, have you used uh, any products like this? Have you used any of these? Have you used any other ones that you've come across? Share your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. I really uh, love uh, vibing off you guys and getting, you know, um, inspiration for new products to try as well as, um, you know, getting contrasting opinions. I think it's all good. We've all got different types of skin. We all have different needs and tastes. So what works for me is not necessarily going to work for you and vice versa. And, you know, if you did like today's video, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notifications bell if you haven't already done so. And um, you can follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, on Pinterest. And I also have an Etsy shop. I sell personalized skincare recommendations in my Etsy shop, as well as other self-care tools such as meditation scripts. I've just branched out into Law of Attraction inspired wall art. So I hope you um, take a look at the shop. You can get a discount for this shop. Um, you get a special coupon code if you sign up to the SK Esk, the S C K. I can't even say my own like brand initials. That's really bad, right? Anyway, the S C K tribe, um, and you can do that on my website selfcarekaren.com. And yeah, if you sign up to my mailing list, then you'll get a coupon code as well as lots of other bits and pieces um, through the mailing that comes out to you. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was absolute pleasure having you here. And just remember, you are in perfect time. Take care.